story. Some lawmakers around the state say they're hearing from constituents about the governor's executive orders, and some people say it's more hurtful than helpful. Some legislators we spoke to say they think the governor has gone too far. Carissa Stinchcomb has more in tonight's top story. The real victims of this whole thing are the kids in the sports, the people with their business, the small mom and pop. Ole Larson is one of the several Republican legislators who wants Governor Burgum to rescind his executive order that pauses extracurricular activities in most high school sports until December 14th, as well as implementing a number of requirements for businesses. I think it's unfortunate that you can fill a bar with a bunch of people and there's no problems with that, but you cannot fill a gymnasium with a bunch of people and you're having two different types of behavior of people in those crowds. One of the issues some constituents and legislators say they have with the executive order is the suspension of student activities. Assistant Majority Leader Scott Lauser says he's heard from more than 200 people who share their stories. There are some pretty emotional pleas that people are making, and it, it really has nothing to do with the time and, and money invested in the sport for their kid. It, it's really about their kid's well-being. Some legislators say they would like to hold a special session to rescind the governor's orders. The downside is what we waste one day, actually one afternoon, trying to accomplish this. So, you know, really people vote us in to make the hard decisions. And I don't think that um, this is a time where we want to try and avoid that. But the House Majority Leader says it isn't that easy. Chet Pollard says the governor could Our issue another executive order the day vulnerable after vulnerable the special session concludes. With that, some lawmakers would prefer to wait until January to evaluate the governor's emergency powers. And we don't have all the answers for a special session right now. That's a lot more complicated than it seems. Those are things you just don't do in three or four days. Uh, th those are things that need to be done by the legislative session in their full realm of a legislative um, assembly when we meet in January and meet for the next three and a half months. In the meantime, legislators say they're going to continue to present the governor with their concerns. Reporting for KX News, I'm Caressa Stinchcomb. Pollard says he and the Senate Majority Leader had a conference call with Governor Burgum today asking him for leniency with the school activity pause especially.